This A minus list reality star with a lucrative side gig is going to discover very quickly that the actor she has been calling her boyfriend wants no part in acting alongside her unless it's an adult tape that they are making for themselves. And this is supposedly about Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet that he would not want to act with his girlfriend. He does not see her as an actress. If they were going to film anything, it's going to be filming the dirty. Now, I was a little bit confused at where this blind item came from, but this person commented that sounds like a great opportunity for her. Another person added, hold on, does this imply that Kylie now wants to be an actress? Because yeah, no, there is no void in the acting field she needs to fill. No one is asking for her and no one wants her. Stay in your lane. Ooh, a little bit harsh, but I mean, we've seen Kim Kardashian get into acting with American Horror Story, so could you guys see Kylie Jenner as an actress? Another person added her face would need perfect lighting or she would look frozen like Nicole Kidman. This person added that Kylie's adult tape would be for the masses. Timmy is dreaming if he thinks that he could film an intimate moment between them and keep it to themselves. So the premise is that I guess Kylie Jenner wants to get into acting and maybe Timothy Chalamet and this relationship could be her stepping stone. One person wrote, so Kylie wants to star in a movie with her boyfriend because they wouldn't have to fake chemistry. Well, it's called acting, honey. You should be learning how to fake it. How embarrassing for him. And articles are reporting that Kylie Jenner wants to pursue acting with Timothy Chalamet's help inside her acting ambitions. Reports write that Kylie Jenner is looking to join Hollywood. While the young mogul isn't new to reality TV, Kylie is ready to try her luck in the music industry with the help of her boyfriend, Timothy. What do Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet have in common, you ask? So Nessera, I asked you just a little bit, but what is it about acting? Like, what is it that's so exciting to you? Even when I was younger, like, me and my sister, we put together these movies. Yeah. I enjoy doing things with Kendall, but sometimes it's fun to just do things on your own. And I've always had an interest in acting. That's right. She's going to do one little show with us. What is the show called? But there's... So if all you get is the chair, then use this. Just disarm them because no actors do that. They come in and they just think it's enough to sit in the chair and say the lines. It's not. Just for you to go for it. Now, why does Kylie Jenner want to be an actress? Quote, Kylie's had acting ambitions for years and had private coaches and some high profile teachers, but she's always held back because of her fear of failure. Now is definitely the time to pursue a change in career, especially since she has the Dune star help, her boyfriend. The source further revealed to the publication that Kylie has been begging Timothy to co-star with her. The beauty mogul reportedly believes the two would make a great scene partners because they wouldn't have to fake their chemistry. Well, that's acting, honey. This article reports that we're glad the couple is supporting each other in their ventures. However, it seems that Timothy is wanting to give Kylie a realistic expectation. The source claimed that while he'll support her if she wants to pursue acting, he has warned her that it's not for the faint of heart. Speaking of the Kardashian family, there is a blind item about Kim, and this seems really greedy. The reality star could sell her used things and give the proceeds to charity, but she just sells her old items and she pockets it, even though she doesn't need the money. So this is about how Kim has been cleaning out her closet and she's not one to give things away. She is going to try to make any money <laughs> anywhere she can. This person wrote, there was an article about Kim selling one of her Birkins for $70,000. Granted, that's a bargain for a Birkin. The problem is the shape it's in. There's self tanner stained on the bag. There's dirty handles, worn corners, scratched and dull metal. Hermes would refurbish it for free. It would take about four to six weeks and the value would go up about 20 or $30,000. So this article reports that Kim Kardashian is branded desperate for reselling her dirty Hermes bag for 70K. Quote, this is embarrassing. Fans quickly took issue with the billionaire trying to resell a used bag with one person writing, seriously, how desperate are they for money? Kim Kardashian is being roasted by fans for selling her dirty Birkin bag for $70,000 on her family's resale site. She posted the rare Birkin bag on a Kardashian closet and listed it in good condition. But the description of the handbag reads that there's some discoloration on the hand and underside bottom corners and minor scratching on the metal. Fans took to Reddit confused why Kardashian would sell the bag
bag at such a high price point when the handles are visibly turning brown. Others are confused why Kim, who's a billionaire, is selling their secondhand clothing and bags, calling her desperate for money. Kim Kardashian has put up several other designer used bags on her family's resale site. So honestly, this bag is not worth $70,000, even being a Birkin bag, it needs to be restored. Quote, the hardware is all scuffed and dull, the edges are worn and slightly frayed, and it's discolored from the makeup and tanner. Just wow. Anyone who buys this from them is an idiot. They can't even be bothered to restore it or have it stored properly. Is this even a real piece? They have no shame. And look at the people coming at her in the comments saying, that's very dirty. Another person wrote, so disgusting seriously so disgusting another person wrote is the discoloration from her tanner spray another person wrote uh, i assume so or that is makeup one person added the nerve to list that at that price with all the discoloration and the handles the wear and tear on the bottom and the lower corners scam artist with a k so everybody who follows the kardashian and their universe are confused as to why kim would stoop to such a low level what some people call dirty i call oh my god kim kardashian spray tan is on this broken bag kardashian closet is not for everyone but i think that's why people are mad don't get mad at kim kardashian for selling this bag for sixty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars get mad that you don't have a bag to sell for sixty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars a Kardashian super fan, I love Kardashian closet so much so that I purchased one of my all time favorite looks of Kim this green Gucci dress that she wore to a Midori event, and to own a piece of Kim Kardashian's history, it gets invaluable. I also own this little jacket Kim wore when she was pregnant with Nora. I literally bought this, I think, on my mom's credit card, and she was pissed. You guys feel like $300 worth. This is when Kim had her eBay store. Now, all of the sisters, including Chris, sell on the Kardashian Closets website. They even have a pop up boutique in Vegas. Let's just go ahead and stay on the Kardashian theme. We've got more celebrities we're covering today, but let's talk about Alabama Barker, who is Travis Barker's daughter, which would be Courtney Kardashian's stepdaughter. But they write, the barely there state celebrity can say what she wants, but she has had more work done to her than 99% of the people her age. Plastic surgery. This person wrote, Alabama Barker is one of the nastiest and trashiest celeb offsprings around. She was dressing and behaving like a, a street walker at the age of 13. Oh my gosh, this person's going in. She had no chance. I saw her on her 18th birthday on Instagram and she was wearing lingerie. Have some dignity. Oh wait, I guess daddy's money couldn't buy that for her. What a sad child destined for a sad end. This person added another young lady who is going to look 45 when she is 23. This person added, given her parents and her stepmother, her step aunts, I'm not so sure that this young lady had a chance. This person wrote, she wants to be a Kardashian. She should just be a kid and live her life. And it does seem like Alabama Barker is one of the these 18 year old girls who have grown up very fast and it's probably due to the environment she's been raised in. Here's a new blind item that is allegedly about Alabama Barker and Kourtney Kardashian and some plastic surgery behind Travis Barker's back. This celebrity spawn, Alabama Barker, is barely a household name even though both of her parents, Travis Barker and Shanna Mochler, are famous but she wants to change that. Her parents divorced years ago and they both moved on. Our fame-seeking gal has warmed up to her very famous stepmom, Kourtney Kardashian. So much, in fact, that the stepmom is encouraging her to have body-enhancing plastic surgery to boost her chances of becoming famous. Our generous stepmom is offering to pick up the tab for breast and butt implants, even though the girl is barely old enough to vote. The problem is our gal's dad doesn't approve of his daughter going under the knife. So her and her stepmom are scheduling the surgery for when he is out of town working. Can you imagine Courtney coming into the picture and like facilitating this and being the one to go and sign off on the documents to allow like Alabama to go and do this. But Alabama Barker has clapped back saying that she is naturally beautiful. Taking to Instagram last week, she fired at a few internet trolls, hoping to clear up any speculation about her appearance. One person commented, this child has had a lot of cosmetic surgery at a very young age. I hope she doesn't overdo it. Alabama replied by saying, I really appreciate the love. I'm natural besides my lip, except the fact that I'm naturally beautiful. Now, Alabama was getting lip injections before she was even 18 years old, posting it on her page saying, that this guy was the best in LA. Alabama shared, sometimes I find myself wanting to clap back, bite at everyone who barks at me. But then I look at those people, like I really look at them. What kind of life they're living, the choices they're making, the things they do compared to who I am, what I do and how I live. And that itself keeps me humble. Hmm, wow. The Blink-182 drummer's daughter has been open about her 
use of lip fillers, even giving her injector nurse a shout out on TikTok earlier this week. And this isn't the first time the social media personality has gotten candid about online hate. In August 2023, she addressed body shamers in a TikTok video after unflattering paparazzi pics of her and her stepmom, Kourtney Kardashian, surfaced online. That's my face when I see all the fake pages commenting about my weight in paparazzi pictures and saying I'm a catfish or saying I'm fat. First of all, let me eat you up because I'm so fat. Paparazzi will purposely take pictures of you with your mouth open, middle of sentence, and any ugly picture they can get of you just for views. The Kardashians are so connected to Hollywood and the industry. This is kind of like Kardashian adjacent because Tyga was once upon a time with Kylie Jenner. And this is about Tyga. Speaking of underage, this one named rapper did that and did so publicly, but is fighting right now to keep a tape of our rapper and a trans woman under wraps. Our rapper is desperately trying. This person commented 100% Tyga. He prefers trans women and treats every single one of them horribly. Another person added, I think you got it. Tyga was exposed some years back DMing an individual of that community on Instagram. He is also in a public relationship with Kylie Jenner when she was underage. And you guys know I live in LA and I've got a lot of friends who are LGBT, a lot of trans friends, which I'm so grateful for because when, where I grew up, like I didn't really have any like exposure to trans people. Now I have so many like just trans best friends and I've actually had people who I know and I have seen proof of them talking to Mr. Tyga. Um, he, he does like the trans girls, which no hate. I mean, go ahead and do your thing, but treat other people with respect. Um, one of the most important things I never really publicly addressed in a major way was the relationship with Tyga and the Kardashian situation and how all that got spent and turned around. And there was a lot of mistruths. Um, that became a huge story it because was outrageous. all of a sudden truth, yeah. you get involved. So that, for those that don't know, like the public story yes. was, and this is very brief, that you were that Tyga was cheating on Kylie Jenner, right? Mm -hmm. With you. Yes, and he was. And he w well, there you go. Today right. I said it. And and then they whatever, <laughs> and then it became a social media thing. And but all that really stuff. wasn't the whole subject of the situation. Someone was impersonating me on Instagram. They made like twenty different Instagram accounts, and they were threatening to release some sex tape, which doesn't exist to my knowledge because mm -hmm. we never shot a sex tape, at least not aware of such a thing and someone was threatening to like extort to you know release the sex tape they didn't give this money um it was psycho it was insane the world was like coming at me so hard uh, and i never addressed it because i didn't want to like make any wrong decisions say the wrong things um i really just wanted to protect him in every way that i could but are you let me ask you are, did you out him no okay now she claims that she did not out Tyga. I mean, I think that this information again is kind of known, you know, in LA that he likes to, you know, he likes what he likes. But one of the biggest problems is that Tyga is being labeled as a predator because he's attracted to underage girls and kind of goes back to his relationship with Kylie Jenner. Now there is a 14 year old girl who's named Molly and has about 50,000 followers on Instagram. And she claims that she had some kind of relationship with Tyga. An inappropriately sexually suggestive relationship is what they are quoted saying. Now, Molly claims that Tyga, who is 26, initiated the relationship between them, between this 14-year-old and himself. And Molly decided to cut off communication when Tyga expressed his desire to meet with her in person. Quote, the truth is that Tyga contacted me first. He direct messaged me on Instagram. I knew who he was, but I was surprised that he was contacting me. She continued, I thought it could possibly be about my music, but he did not mention that in his initial communication with me. I thought that was strange, but I ended up thinking that he would bring it up in his next message but however he did not bring up her music at all i began to feel uncomfortable when he asked to facetime with me he asked to facetime three times but i did not do it because my discomfort with why he wanted to communicate with me you know i guess took over power and she decided to stop this conversation there now tyga can't hide from stories like this for long which is why he's been confronted pretty often about being with trans women and about that relationship with kylie and the other sketchy scandals he finds himself in so what about the the, the transgender uh story as well can you clear that up as well i just because I, I was just reading i'm like this is just it's just like it's just stuff just coming yeah, back to back and it just seems like somebody is just trying just, to it's just some stuff you gotta just like, y'all believe everything? I believe that. We don't believe it. That's why we say like allegedly, or oh, this well, is what I'm that's hearing. I'll be mean, like, I, I didn't even know at one point. I'm like, damn, like, who's <laughs> making this shit up? Like, somebody really like got something against me up top somewhere. 
that's why I asked you, do you think like somebody's really trying to ruin your career? Because it's it's just like it's back to back. He has money problems. Nah, so he, man, you know, it's, he, it's, it's entertainment. It's clicks. Now we've got a blind item about Orlando Brown. It writes that this actor and singer is another victim of the former label owner and is clearly suffering the after effects of the damage. But what he is saying this week makes a lot of sense. So this is about Orlando Brown and the label owner would be Chris Stokes, who we have spoken about on my channel and he has legally tried to come after me. Wait until my cease and desist series when you guys get to see everything that has been involved in the legal you know, threats I've had. Now, Orlando Brown makes wild claims about making love to Drake, Usher, and more. A new video of him has gone around where he is explaining the people who he has made love to in the music industry. This certainly isn't the first time that somebody has tried to make similar claims about what is going on behind the scenes in the music industry. Very few people seem to believe it. In the new video, Orlando Brown names Drake, Usher, Busta Rhymes, and Bow Wow. Fans watching the clips have had a variety of reactions. Some think that Orlando isn't in a good headspace and somebody needs to look out for him. Quote, whoever recorded and posted this isn't solid. Obviously, there's something wrong with this dude. Let's pray Orlando gets the help he needs. And here's that clip where he is going on and exposing the people that he is claiming he had slept with behind the scenes in the industry. We made love. We made love. Who you made love with? Diddy, Bow Wow, um, Buster Rhymes. <laughs> you just told me you see Buster in, in the airport too. Damn uh, it, from China, I got here. Know you? You smashed Drake? Uh, no, I never smashed. Oh, you made love to Drake. And and um, uh, Cat Williams. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you smashing a lot of people. Uh, what's the name? Uh, Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. Uh, oh. Terrence Howard. Um, Usher. Usher's a gusher. And, what the uh, f and Why and you not having a hose? I'm telling you, bro. Uh, it's my dad's. My dad's friends. My dad sick his baddest friends on me. Who's your dad? Lucifer. <laughs> I thought she knew. I did. Okay. You're so, Jesus. Yeah. So my dad said like every bad one on me. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> whatever. But the babies matter now. And I'm like, not my kids. Cause y'all sure. This person added, I could believe it when it comes to Diddy, maybe Drake, but not Busta Rhymes. Another person added, baby, I know for a fact when Busta Rhymes sees this BS, it's about to be some smoke in the air. That's a king and he does not play dirty games. So some people do not believe that Orlando could have been with Busta Rhymes. This person added, what happened to this dude? No, seriously, did he get a hold of some bad drugs? Did he have mental issues from the beginning? This is sad. This person added, I don't want to believe Orlando, but he doesn't really have a reason to lie. People have been believing his stories until he mentions someone that they like and then they just call him crazy Who knows what Orlando Brown was thinking, but I hope you guys enjoyed our fourth installment of blind item breakdown Comment below if you guys enjoy this series and you want it to continue. I think it's been a month now So I'm excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye guys